In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Visual Studio 2022 to create a console application using the C Sharp programming language. When you launch Visual Studio, you'll be presented with this dialog box. Come to here where you'll see the scroll bar and scroll down and here you can see it says create a new project. Click on that and you will now be presented with a different dialog box which you can see here says create a new project. And this lists all of the templates that are available to be selected and there are many of them and if I come to here and scroll down you can see moving past a many many different projects but they're for a variety of different things that can be built i'm interested in using c sharp i want it to be run on windows and in my case it's windows 11 i'm using and i want the project type to be a console so i will come here click onto this arrow and this drop down box will appear this drop down menu and i will select c sharp I'll then come to where it says all platforms. I'll click on this arrow and you can see what's dropping down and I'm going to choose Windows. I will then come on here to all project types, click onto this arrow and I'm going to come here to console. And there you can see I have two templates that I can choose from. Now we could select this template here, which we can see is for C Sharp, it's a console application and whatever we develop will be targeted to these operating systems. Now I don't want that to be the case. I want this console app which is C Sharp. It's targeted to the Windows operating system and it's going to be a console app. So I will select this one and then I will click the next button. Then I'm presented with this dialog box. Now this dialog box is showing us the project name, the location where all of the files for this project are going to be stored and the solution name. And if you look at the project and the solution name you can see Visual Studio has selected some default values for us. Now obviously if I was developing a proper project here I would choose better names than console app one but for this which is essentially a demonstration I'm going to leave the project name alone and leave it at its default I will then click this create button and if you wait what you will see happening is it'll produce this it'll produce the ID e and you can see that what you have here is a template of code that is necessary for you to produce a console application. As is the case whenever you use new software applications, what you see in front of you can be overwhelming. And I'm not going to worry too much about all of the component features of this IDE, or indeed, the code that you can see on this page. I'm going to recommend for the time being you concern yourself with this area here and in particular what's between these two curly brackets often referred to as braces because as a computer programmer that's going to be writing a console application you would in the main stick your code in this area here now I'm just going to type in two lines of code. The first line is going to say hello world and the second line is just going to ensure that the console application that appears doesn't immediately disappear from view. Now if you look to see what I have done, I've typed in these two lines of code and you can see they've been indented between these two braces. If you look to the first line, it's a right line and what it's going to do, it's going to write hello world out to the console and this is going to ensure that the console remains in view and the way in which you can take the console 
away from view is by pressing enter on the keyboard and this will read the enter as if it's reading a line and the console application will disappear. I will now run the program and I will do that by coming up here to where it says start, clicking on it and you can see here it's displaying hello world as we expect. And you can see on this line there is a flashing cursor. Now that's there because of the read line that was in the code and it's waiting for me as the user of this program to do something and what I'm going to do is to hit the enter key at which point the read line will read that and the program will finish as you can see there. Now if you can remember what the code window looked like for Visual Basic you should remember that you didn't see any of this here and that's because we're in a different language. But these lines of code look the same. And in fact, they are the same. They're both console.write line and console.read line. They're both very expressive in what they do. And what was in Visual Basic is here in C Sharp. But don't believe that this is the case for lots of things because it isn't. It's just for writing out to the console and reading from the console. Take this, for example. This is most definitely the type of thing you would see within the C sharp programming language. Another difference, however, although this bit is as you would see it in Visual Basic, you would not see this. And this is a semicolon. In C, when you write a line of code, you have to put a semicolon at the end. So the compiler, which will convert this into a language which will then control the computer using the compiler, the compiler needs to know where the end of the line is. And it knows that by this semicolon. And if you look at this line, you can see there's a semicolon at the end here as well. So in fact, when I say these two are identical to VB, it's not quite right, is it? There's the semicolons at the end. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.